Famous professional golfer Adam Scott has gained a lot of fame over the years, but are you curious to find out how much money he made, how he spends his millions, and what luxurious lifestyle he has? Stay tuned. In today's video, we will look at Adam Scott's golf career, net worth, business ventures, and his lifestyle. Welcome to 24 Golf, your daily dose of golf content. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. Let's get started. Background Adam Derrick Scott is an Australian pro golfer, and one might mainly find him playing on a PGA Tour. Back in August 2014, he was ranked the world number one golfer, and to date, he has won 31 professional tournaments around the world. Scott's biggest win is the 2013 Masters Tournament, his first major championship. With this win, Scott made history, as he became the first Aussie to claim the green jacket in the tournament's history. So let's get to how Adam Scott's life and how he came into golfing. Born to Phil and Pam at the age of seven, Adam Scott moved to Queensland where he developed an undying love for the beach. Did you know that Adam Scott is also an active surfer? It was only after surfing that Adam found his passion for golf. His father, Phil Scott, was not a professional golfer, but he was a member of the Australian PGA. Phil Scott was the first to coach Adam. He taught him the fundamentals of golf by keeping it natural and straightforward. Phil also stressed the need for solid technique, which is a must to become a good golfer. At 17, Adam got admitted to the Kurilbin International School in Queensland which is famously known for its golfing programs. After three years in school, Adam flew to the USA and enrolled himself in the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, and there seemed to be no looking back. He turned into a pro by the year 2000. Wins and endorsements With all these achievements under his belt, his current net worth stands at a whopping $50 million. In February 2020, Adam earned a $9.3 million purse by winning the Genesis Open at the Riviera Country Club in the Pacific Palisades. He's made nearly $30 million from his winnings from golf tournaments, and he also makes tens of millions from endorsing brands like the Japanese clothing brand Uniqlo, German luxury car manufacturer Mercedes-Benz, Rolex, and Titleist. Let's find out what he is doing with all those earnings from the endorsements and golf tournaments. The Adam Scott Foundation for the ideal person that he is, it is only obvious that he came up with a foundation in an attempt to give back to the society. In 2005, he established the Adam Scott Foundation in Australia and further expanded the foundation to Asia in 2008. The foundation is dedicated to providing support for causes that affect youth in Australia and Asia. The motto of the project is to provide and facilitate positive change in the society. The foundation raises funds through partnerships and donations from corporate supporters and individuals. It is believed that 100% of the donations are utilized in assisting and executing their planned projects. The Gulfstream Jet Scott is not someone to shy away from showing off his riches. He owned a customized private jet, which cost a whopping $7 million. The jet is a Gulfstream G450 business jet that helps him cruise over the skies and get to his golf tournaments in style. But unfortunately, he sold the private jet, but we aren't sure how much it was sold for. However, Scott did insinuate that he made a good profit out of the deal from the buyer. This shows us that the golfer is a smart businessman. The Family Connection In 2014, Adam Scott got married his girlfriend Marie Kojar in a hush-hush secret wedding soon after the Masters. Scott's Bahamas home made for the perfect backyard wedding venue. The ceremony was held in front of a close knit of friends and family. What's amusing is that most of the guests who made it to the venue were not even aware of the wedding. Looks like it was not just a secret, but even a surprise wedding. It's official, Scott told Australian Associated Press in May 2014. I am a settled down man and very happy. It was just our family and a few friends, and obviously, there are a lot of people we would have liked to have had there who weren't, but we decided to have a very low-key affair. She doesn't need a traditional wedding dress to look so beautiful. We dressed up a little bit, but it was still in the backyard," Scott told the New York Post. It was more about not building it up into something too big that may have gotten out of hand, but it was a fun event for everyone who was there, and hopefully, we will have fun celebrating with other friends when we catch up with them. It is speculated that the pair first met while Kojar worked as an au pair for Thomas Bjorn. The relationship between them was on and off back in 2001 and 2008 before they split up. The couple gave their relationship another chance soon after Scott's Masters victory in the year 2013. Kojar was born in Stockholm, Sweden, and went to the Royal School of Art in London. She eventually became an architect. The pair have two children together called Bovira and Byron. But none of this would be possible without his successful career in golf. Let's take a look back at the timeline of his career. The journey so far. Adam Scott went pro midway through the 2000 season. Within eight starts as a professional, he had earned his card for the 2001 European Tour. 
he finished in sixth place at the Linda German Masters during this period. Another notable victory during these early years came at the Alfred Dunhill Championship in Johannesburg. This was his first professional title, and he wrapped up the season with a number of other top three finishes. In 2003, he recorded his first victory on the PGA Tour at the inaugural Deutsche Bank Championship. In 2004, he followed up with the victory at the Players' Championship. The win wasn't easy, and he almost threw it away after finding the water hazard. However, he fought back with a 40-yard up and down, including a 10-footer for a bogey. This was enough to win by a single shot. In doing so, he became the youngest winner of the Players' Championship at 23. Kim Si Woo eventually beat this record. In 2005, he won the Nissan Open and the Singapore Open, but competed for less in the European Tour from 2006 onwards. He eventually won the Tour Championship by three strokes, focusing on the PGA Tour. He followed up with another win on the PGA Tour in 2007, claiming victory at the Shell Houston Open. 2008 was a difficult season for Scott as he struggled with both injuries and illnesses. However, he still managed to win the Qatar Masters and the EDS Byron Nelson Championship. However, he had a complete off year during 2009, dropping out of the top 50 in the world rankings and finishing outside of the top 100 on the PGA Tour money list. His only consolation was a win at the Australian Open. However, other wins came throughout the next few years and he finished runner-up at the Open Championship in 2012. In 2014, he achieved the number one ranking. He held this position from the 19th of May until August of 2014 for 11 weeks. In 2020, he won the Genesis Invitational at the Riviera Country Club in Pacific Palisades. This marked the first PGA Tour win after many years of disappointing results. Real Estate and Scott in 2013, it was reported that Scott had accepted a significant loss on an apartment in Australia. He originally purchased the two-level apartment for $4.4 million in 2004. He first tried to sell the residence in 2010, but he struggled to find a buyer for years. In 2013, he finally accepted a bid of just $2.4 million. This equates to losses of more than 55% but things didn't end here. He purchased several other apartments in the area, and he offloaded a second apartment for $5.9 million in 2007. The condo featured Italian limestone floors, a large balcony overlooking the Surfer's Paradise Beach, an exclusive study, a wet bar, and a private garden courtyard with a spa and an exotic barbecue area. A year later, it was reported that he was selling his home in Abu Dhabi. The house was built in 2008, and Scott had purchased it even before it was made. He planned to use it as a home base while competing on the European tour, but that didn't pan out. He reportedly spent very little time in his home. It hit the market with a price tag of $6.2 million. Highlights include a pool, 10,000 square feet of living space, and exceptional views of the Sadiat Beach Golf Club and the ocean. Currently, Scott lives in the Bahamas while he also owns a house in Crans, Montana in Switzerland called Turnberry, while another house he owns in Sanctuary Cove on the Gold Coast in Queensland, Australia. What do you think of Adam Scott's lifestyle? And do you think Adam Scott will continue his streak with victories? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to never miss a video from us. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching.